Yo, yo, what's up, community? Your man, Evil Foot, Metro Manila. You know the place. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and like the content if you like it. As always, at Evil T-Shirt Club on IG, please give us a follow. And today's treat is another Evil Toy review. This one is going to be the MP8, which is Masterpiece Grimlock. And this is a Sakara Tami release, so authentic, unlike my standard replica review videos. And the footage here is from the beautiful city of BGC, Bonifacio Global City. And there's actually two different variations of the Masterpiece Grimlock. But our toy review today on the MP8 is amazing as well. Heat on feet today is the AJ6 Carmine Authentic because I always wear authentic. And don't forget EvilTShirtClub.com is the home for the evilest villains ever. So here we go. And if I could please address your attention to the bottom right hand corner. Strongest leader, newest design will be available soon. EvilTShirtClub.com inspired from this pickup. And major shouts out to my homie. His IG tag is Fortress Maximus Prime. Be sure to follow him. A lot of dope Transformers in his collection and you'll see the photos and everything. But he delivered on this one for me because he knows that I was in the market for Masterpiece Grimlock and he came through practically for free. So second hand pickup, not brand new, but of course I'm totally satisfied with that because of course the sweet price point. So everything was included, of course you get the collector's card and on the back you see his uh, power rankings down here below, uh, of course they're not in English but I'm pretty sure this 3 stands for his intelligence. <laughs> and here we have his battery installation instructions and his transformation manual along with an explanation of the uh, accessories that were inclusive and some of the more prominent episodes that uh, Grimlock starred in. And on the final page we have the different variations of incarnations of Grimlock but I only care about G1 so and these are the uh, more prominent episodes uh, that were part of the story of this masterpiece collection. And I think these booster feet were freebies, so again, respect to the homie Fortress Maximus Prime. Please go follow his IG account. And most of the accessories for Grimlock seem to come from Season 3. Uh, this particular piece is from Grimlock's New Brain episode. This was Season 3, Episode 24. In the blaster, of course, this is one of his original accessories. And the bow tie, of course, is from Season 3, Episode 14, Madman's Paradise, where the Autobots were hosting a visitor to Cybertron. So we have the transparent sword here, but the MP08X, which is the King Grimlock, the sword is more of a flame-looking colorways. And personally, I'm not a real big fan of the apron here. I would have chosen a better accessory, you know, especially for a Masterpiece Collection item. But I might add an Evil T-Shirt Club logo here and make it badass. Alright, so Masterpiece Collection, so he already came in robot mode, so let's take a look at this guy. So Grimlock is my favorite Autobot, and I do want to take the time just to remind you all, there is an episode where Grimlock, Slag, and Sludge beat Optimus Prime down. Of course, Megatron tricked them into following the strongest leader, who of course is Grimlock. So they practically beat Optimus Prime down. Uh, the name of that episode is called War of the Dinobots. So please go check that out if you have. It's pretty dope. That's also the episode where uh, Will Jack created Snarl and Swoop, taking the Dinobot count up to five. Uh, and I really did expect to see a combiner back in G1. Never happened then, but we do of course have a toy version of that now. All right, so that gets you up to speed with everything. Let's go ahead and get this guy transformed. Hands, piece of cake. Let's open this on the side, push it in, close it up, boom. Raise the arms, and now they become his Dinobot leg or his dinosaur T-Rex legs. And then we just repeat the same thing over here on his left arm. So then we just remove his uh, extension boot or his platform sneakers. <laughs> So you just pull this up. Uh, told you again, secondhand owner, so it's kind of loose. 
He's been passed around a bit here. And then we'll just flex his hip outwards because his feet are going to now become the tail for his Dinobot mode. And I did have to look at the instructions for this. This was a little bit difficult for me, primarily because there's a lot of flexibility with this particular one because he has been passed around a bit. But you can see here the tip of his tail is basically hidden within his foot or his calf or whatever you call this in a robot. And we'll just double time as we do the same exact thing over here on his right leg. Voila! Alright, and now we'll just combine his legs together. They, it's real easy just to flex together. And there are, are little clips in here. Unfortunately, it's difficult to display those to you while I'm trying to push those to connect. So just trust me, they're there. So that was pretty much the, the more complicated part. Everything else is pretty easy. Uh, we'll just pull his chest down like so. Boom. And now his arms become his dino mode legs. So you'll see here that I did close his chest up a little prematurely. Uh, you actually have to close his head first, pull his head in, then you close the chest up and everything fits nice and snug. So now you see where I fouled up earlier. I just kind of got ahead of myself, but yeah, just bring the head in first, then you close the chest up and everything fits nice and snug. So there, uh, what do you guys think of this MP08 version of the Grimlock masterpiece? So I'm going to display him in the T-Rex or the Dino mode, uh, but what about you guys? Would you have him displayed in his robot mode or his Dino mode? Which one do you like best? How do you feel about the apron and the bow tie? Do you feel like those are significant pieces to the Grimlock story? Personally, I think they should have used more from season one and season two. Again, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to like the content if you like it. Uh, thanks to everyone for hanging in there, making it through another fun video. I'll continue to put out dope material for you always. Peace.